Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we will allow the player to damage the enemy. So when we hit the enemy we will decrease the enemy health and when the enemy health gradually decreases to zero then the enemy will die. But in the previous video as you saw that when we try to hit the enemy it doesn't show that we are hitting the enemy. Okay. But now it is showing that we are hitting the enemy. Let me come towards the enemy. Now let's shoot him. As you can see, it's showing that we are hitting that wall behind the enemy. So in order to fix this, we need to remove uh, from this capsule collider, remove this his trigger. Okay, remove that. And yep. Now if we play with him. Let me lock the cursor now. If you try to hit now, as you can see, it shows that we are hitting the enemy. Let me show it to you again. If you try to hit him, as you can see, it shows that enemy. Now it shows reloading. Now it will show enemy. Okay, so just simply remove this is triggered from there. Then open up the enemy script and right here at the top inside this header which is enemy health and damage let's create a private float and we will name this as enemy health it will be equals to 120f after this we will create another private float let's name this as present health then we will create a public float and this will be give damage and this enemy will give a damage of 5 units ok this will give 5 units damage to the player but now we want to give damage to this enemy ok and for now let's just create these three variables and now as you know that the enemy health is now 120f and this is the present health which is equals to nothing so when the game starts we want the present health to be equals to the enemy health so when the game start the present health will be then equals to 120f okay now let's create a function for the enemy to get damage from the player so right here we will create a function by the name of enemy hit damage and in here we will take a float which will be take damage then inside this function we want to say that whenever the enemy take damage then we want to decrease the present health by the take damage and this take damage will come from this rifle so in the rifle right here when we are shooting the rifle we say that if we hit the object then we want to destroy uh, give damage to that object okay but now we have an enemy so right here we will type enemy let's name this as enemy and this will be equals to it info dot transform dot get component and we want to get the enemy script okay so when we have the enemy script right here in the else if we will say that if we hit the enemy okay so if the enemy is not equals to null then what we want to do we want to say that enemy dot enemy hit damage okay and this is basically this function enemy hit damage 
and as you know this enemy here damage needs a take damage value so right here we will give the give damage off okay and as you know this give damage off is equal to 10f so now this 10f will be passed to this function which is enemy hit damage and right here enemy hit damage so we take the take damage now the take damage will be 10f so now we will decrement 10f from this present health so when we hit the enemy then the enemy health will be 110 and when we hit the enemy again it will be 100 and when we hit it again 90 okay like that it will decrease now let's just set it back to 120 okay and let's complete this right here this is just the same logic as we did for the object okay so now we pass the damage to there and as you know right here we show the impact effect for the object we need to show effect for the enemy as well so whenever we hit the enemy we want to show that effect on the enemy so for that we will create a game object as we did for the impact effect okay so we will say game object and let's name this as core effect or you can actually name this as blood effect if you want okay so just name it according to what you like for now i will just leave this as core effect okay and i will simply copy that two lines paste it down below and right here instead of the impact effect i will type core effect then hit info dot point and all of the things will be the same and we want this effect to disappear after every two seconds so now whenever we hit the enemy we will see this beautiful uh, core effect or you can say blood effect okay so now we pass the damage to this function now get back to this function and we hit damage now we are giving this enemy a damage of 10 units so now the enemy takes the damage after that what we want to do we want the enemy to be dead now so for that we will check if the present health is less than or equals to zero then what we will do we will call a function which will be enemy die okay and now let's create this function enemy die so after this enemy hit damage right down below make the enemy die a private function so private word enemy die and in here when the enemy die we want to simply stop the enemy right there okay we don't want the enemy to follow the player so for that we will say enemy agent dot set destination and it will be the enemy current position where he dies so we will set that position there and then we want the enemy speed equals to 0 f if you don't do this then when the enemy die it will still follow you guys okay so make sure to do this we will set the enemy speed to 0 also we will set the shooting radius to 0 f and then we will set the vision radius to 0 f as well and the player in vision radius will be set to false and the player in shooting radius will be also set to false and then we want to destroy the enemy character so we will say object or destroy game object and we want to destroy the game object after 5.0 seconds and we will end that by a semicolon so now we have the function for the enemy to take damage and to die and we added this code right here in which we are checking if we hit the enemy then we want to give the 10 units damage to the enemy okay and we want to show this gore effect or you can say blood effect so just save that get back to unity okay we spell that incorrectly 
so let's change this to destroy now let's clear that click on the enemy okay we have these options we need to provide the core effect to the their right thing okay right here so if you click on this prefab as you can see we have the core effect right there and this is this blood effect okay so we want to show this effect so click on the gun drag and drop this core effect there and we are all set up make sure that you added the enemy tag to the enemy and also the enemy is on the layer enemy okay okay everything is now set up just click on this enemy and change this to deeper food so that you can see how the health will decrease when we hit the enemy okay now if you play the game you will notice that now the present health is 120 for the enemy and he is walking towards the next work point now if you try to hit him as you can see his health is decreasing it is now 110 if you try to hit him again it is now 90 okay and you can see the beautiful blood effect when we hit the enemy okay let me just run towards the enemy okay he saw us now if you try to hit us as you can see the beautiful blood effect and the enemy health is now minus 80 okay so now as you can see the enemy is destroyed when his health is less than or equals to zero let me show it to you again when we kill the enemy you can see his health now 20 10 and now zero and now after five seconds the enemy will disappear as you can see now he is stopped and now he's disappeared so we are giving damage to the enemy and in the next video we will take damage from the enemy okay we will allow the enemy to damage the player so with this done see you guys in the next video